Hey guys, today's the day. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Yep, it's Halloween. Wow, one more movie. This is the last movie of my 31 Days of Fright, and uh, I do appreciate you guys watching and reading my reviews. It makes me appreciate what I do that you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know I've been enjoying this. So let's get into this. What's the movie today? Well, I'm talking about a movie that's actually a Halloween movie, you know, like actually set on Halloween. I mean, not like John Carpenter's Halloween where it's a serial killer on Halloween. I mean, like the movie itself is based on Halloween. Um, so today, today's movie is Trick or Treat. Yeah, the anthology movie. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. This is Trick or Treat. So yeah, everyone that's basically a horror nut knows this movie. You know, the classic 2007 anthology film. Well, if you don't know what an anthology film is, it's basically a combination of like three or four little stories and they are supported by like a narrative of the plot. Think of it as like a split with multiple bands with different songs on it. Anyway, so the main theme of the movie is that this is all done on Halloween night. It's only 8 o'clock and the streets are already packed with costume visitors. Some to show off, others to blend in, but all to celebrate the magical night of Halloween. Yeah, you don't really see a lot of movies that are on Halloween. I mean, you have like Trick or Treat, like, I mean the other Trick or Treat. But that's not really a Halloween movie. Yeah, we got one story with the kid from Bad Santa and the dude that kills him. I'm not really sure if he kills him. Um... It kind of implied that he did, but he's hiding, like, the body of the kid. You have the typical slutty girls going to a Halloween party, and you got trick-or-treaters just walking around talking about some urban legend about how some crazy bus driver killed a bunch of special kids by driving off a bridge and drowning them. And they come back as zombies? Ghosts? I don't really know, but still pretty cool. Yeah, and you know those college girls that are partying in the middle of the woods? Yeah, they're like werewolves. Honestly, when I first saw that, I was like, huh, didn't expect that to happen. Still cool. It's also kind of creepy that they're playing Marilyn Manson over it. Just adds to the creepy factor. My, 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 big eyes. Then we get our last little story about this old dude that just hates Halloween. And he gets a visitor. And the visitor is... This guy. Yeah, his name's Sam, by the way, if you didn't know. And he periodically comes in and out of the movie just to show his face and all. But this is where he really shines. And then we come to realize that this old curmudgeon motherfucker was the bus driver of those kids that he drowned. Well, to be fair, he didn't drown them. Like, one of the kids got out and, like, drove off the cliff. But, I mean, his like the parents of those kids wanted him to kill him anyway so it he killed them still so yeah that's pretty much the whole movie and i think the reason why i like this movie so much it's because in regular anthology movies they have like every movie or every short film like have a specific time slot like oh this is the first one then the second one then the third one um a good example would be like john carpenter's body bags or like creep show yeah that's another good one but like trick or treat basically combines everything into one movie like yeah they're all separate stories but they're all like linked into being in this one little town on halloween night kind of reminds me of the 22 short stories of springfield that episode where it's like yeah there's multiple people telling different stories but they're all connected into one and it makes one collusive like story that's late that's at least what i think of it that's why i think this is probably my favorite anthology movie so yeah, it's uh, really good. If you haven't seen it, I would be surprised if you haven't. Pretty much every person who likes horror movies loves this movie. Um, so yeah, that's the last movie for Halloween, because today's Halloween. Crazy. Well, I just want to do my final note on this. Um, thank you for watching again. I had fun doing this. I hope you had a good time watching, reading what I had to say about these movies. Because the reason why I do these movies is because I want people to come together. I know, like, the time now is kind of hard with everything else going on. And uh, I just wanted to make something for people. Maybe forget about their lives or, like, something for, like, five minutes. So, yeah, that was mainly the whole point of why I did this. And 
to show that there's good movies out there that people might have not known of. Um, shit, there's still movies I don't even know about and that are probably amazing. Um, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions and just get out some suggestions. So, yeah, that's the last day. It's Halloween. Well, I'll do, be doing more reviews throughout the year. Um, not as frequent, obviously, but I'll still be doing them. Um, make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe if you like. Make sure to follow all my social medias in the link below. And, um, yeah. Um, until the next time, until the next review, I don't know what the next review is going to be. So, you have to wait. And until then, have a good one. Have a happy Halloween. And I'll see you next time. I don't even know what that was. Coach Taylor was in a hot dog costume, but fucking a pig, I think. And Check. then. That's just not.